break this huge, huge story that is hiding in plain view. It's threefold. Number one, ABC News knowingly on Friday, this is now admitted, put out a story that became the number one story in the world and tanked the stock market, almost completely plunging it. Saying that General Flynn in the indictment had been ordered during the campaign to meet with the Russians. They had the indictment for an hour before they put that out. A child could read that information and see that it was after he was president-elect and the National Security Advisor incoming, it's totally standard, first week to start talking to the Chinese, the Russians, the British, the Mexicans, everybody else that we interact with, especially folks that have nuclear weapons like Russia and China. They ran with that all over the place to vindicate all the lies that, see, there was collusion. Then the indictment reads, and the press release also by Flynn that nobody's covering is that you guys were spying on us while we were president-elect, Obama was, with transcripts of them talking to the Russians. So then the FBI in December of last year, after Trump's president-elect for a month and a half, comes to Flynn had, and said, did you say exactly this to the Russian ambassador? He said, I don't remember doing that. They're charging him with transcripts they've got illegally spying on them, which they denied they were doing earlier. They now admit that. CNN admits it. I'm going to show you that in a minute. And then you actually read the transcripts. They're like, we want to stop hot spots and things blowing up. And we don't want you to respond very strongly back with our sanctions that will hurt U.S. economy. And we don't want war in Israel or in Syria. We'd like to stop ISIS with you. I mean, give them a medal. They are getting the Russians to accept sanctions and not put them on us, and they're getting them to continue to work with us to take out ISIS, which we've now done. I, I mean, it's just crazy. And they ran this giant hoax, this giant hoax all in the morning, and I went and read the indictment, and I read Flynn's response, and it was right there that it was in December, late December, he was the incoming national security advisor. He did it. But the media ran with it and said that six months before, before uh, when he was candidate Trump, before he was even uh, the nominee, that Flynn was beaten with the Russians. Total fake news that almost completely tanked the stock market. Later in the afternoon, by 5 o'clock, they said, okay, okay. It was fake news, but and the markets came back, uh, back up some and after trading. But they knew it was fake. And so now, millions of retweets of their story, their fake news on thousands of platforms. The retraction today had like 2,000 retweets. So I've had people emailing me and calling me and even somebody at the grocery store today going, F you, Alex Jones, you Russian, see, see, Flynn, you're all going down. You've seen me live on the street, it happens everywhere I go. And I'm just like, these are idiots that saw the fake news that Trump had lied and that during the campaign he was meeting with the Russians. And then these morons don't care it got retracted. Even when it comes out, it's been retracted. And that ABC News admits it was fake. They don't care. This is just crazy. And, of course, the third big issue. They were illegally spying on Flynn. The whole thing was a hoax. Number three. This is the day we get the biggest tax cut in U.S. history. they got to get through conference now, through the mix of the House and Senate, that will totally bring the economy back. The economy's already back at 3.3%, something they never said would happen. They said 3% wouldn't happen. Clearly, Trump's pro-America. Our sovereignty, our military, our borders, it's all coming back. Globalism was meant to stunt the U.S. Trump's taking those restrictions off. If you got power that's three times the cost of China, you're not going to have plants here. Cutting our coal off did that. I mean, everything Trump's done is bringing the economy back. They're trying to block him, hurting the country, the globalists and the Democrats. And then they got the nerve to say he's a Russian agent trying to hold America back when if they take Trump out of office with this made-up crap, it's going to tank the stock market, the markets, you name it. And the Democrats are calling for civil war and overthrow. I cover it. And they put out daily articles saying, I'm insane. No one's been saying it. BuzzFeed has one out today. Some people that met the PP gate thing. So I've got more bombshell news I'm going to cover here. But they went with the headline bombshell. Trump ordered Flynn to meet with the Russians before he was president 
elect. They knew it was fake. They knew it wasn't true. They tried to spin it and go, well, we talked to a Flynn source. They just made that up, folks. They did it an hour after they had the indictment. They are conscious frauds that knew they put that out because Manafort, it's 10-year-old stuff in Ukraine. Podesta's involved as well. It was all pro-U.S. actions, nothing to do with Trump. And now this, and now they're saying, oh, Flynn has flipped. And so he's going to, the only way he gets the plea deal is if somebody else above him is indicted. So they're now trying to pressure Flynn into saying that the president lied about something. And then you read these transcripts from the NSA that were illegally obtained by Susan Rice and the rest of them, outgoing, sour ducks, you know, angry sour pusses. And they're in there just showing Trump battling for America, battling for our interest, battling to keep sanctions off of us, battling to crush ISIS, and just doing a great job. Oh, and wanting a peace deal in Israel. Oh my God, Jared Kushner is so bad. Uh, he had Flynn call about not you know getting sanctions against Israel. Oh my gosh, this is nothing about Russia, folks. Nothing selling America out. But they've got the public convinced, some of them, that talking to Russians... We don't have a war with Russia that, that we're traitors. You know, it's like Keith Overman, Russian scum. So I want to go over a few of these for you here right now. There it is, in case you don't believe me. ABC News corrects bombshell Flynn report. That's CNN. Talk about a whitewash. ABC News has now come out and apologized and said, you're right, it's a correction. We made a big mistake. We're so sorry. <laughs> big mistake? That would be the president lying. That would be the president in bed with the Russians. You think he's an idiot in a campaign where they're claiming he's a Russian agent because they've got all their Russian dirt on them, the Clintons did, so they wanted to put it on Trump? You think he's stupid? You think Donald Trump wants to sell us out to the Russians? We just took us out of the TPP that was made up of all these foreign countries that were going to control us? This is for America. This is America, and it's working. And the traitors, the globalists, are saying that it's the other way around. Look at the stock market. ABC makes epic mistake, retracts bombshell Flynn story. It's also up on Infowars.com. But it gets worse. It gets absolutely worse, ladies and gentlemen. Let's pull up that one CNN article that I was just mentioning, the next one. Uh, there it is. Russia investigation zeroes in on Trump's inner circle. I first broke Friday morning that these were from illegal intercepts. Because I remember when Obama said, we've got intercepts in January... A week before he left office, you were meeting with the Russians and talking to them. And Trump's like, yeah, we talked to them. That's normal when we're incoming. They went, yeah, we've got you colluding. He goes, well, how do you even know we talked to them? Well, we got the transcripts. Then Trump goes, you just released illegal spying, and it's illegal to admit you were spying on top of it. That's a leak. And they went, we, we weren't wiretapping. We're like, we have hundreds of news articles. And the New York Times saying wiretaps. In fact, type that in. New York Times wiretaps on Trump. Click images. It comes up. It's the first thing. So they played that game, remember, and said, oh, uh, we never said we were wiretapping. It's in the article now, specifically, word for word wiretap, but they'd always put out paraphrase, not in the indictment. You're talking 20 minute conversations about stuff and they asked Flynn about some specific thing and he didn't remember it, so they're saying that's lying. And Flynn again doesn't admit to any wrongdoing. He says, okay, charge me with lying to the FBI. This law they've had the last 50 years, it's unconstitutional. But I didn't do it on purpose, and it wasn't colluding. And Trump has said it's not colluding. But this is the witch hunt. Go through everybody's records, find tooth comb, find something, a bounce check, you name it. Talk to all of Trump's renters, all of his golf club members. Find something. It's somebody to say something about Trump. A dragnet. There it is. Inauguration day, they said wiretap data used an inquiry of Trump aides. So weeks later, though, when Trump pointed out that the, the, that the demasking and all this stuff was illegal, because they're monitoring everything, they were just sharing it. It's one thing to monitor it. They argue, well, we don't look at it all. We just record it all. But without warrants, boom, they were doing this. They also had some warrants for FISA. But the point is they lied to you again and said this never existed. And CNN said, I created this fake news article and that this did not exist. <clears throat> again, they just think you're stupid. Now, continuing, this is the other big area. This is really big. And this is a great headline from InfoWars, but it's not strong enough. Because that 
it's worse than that. You can see the FBI emails. It's FBI desperately tried to cover up the illegal Clinton, Bill Clinton meeting with then Attorney General Loretta Lynch. The headline is, report FBI went after leaker in Clinton-Lynch tarmac meeting. Well, I mean, you read this, it's like, my God, we've got to cover this up. We've got to find out who did this. This was supposed to be secret. We're going to get in big trouble. They found out about this meeting. You talk about obstruction. You talk about conspiracy. You talk about criminality. You talk about guys in group emails to the FBI that went out to hundreds of agents. We're in deep trouble. They're going to have no confidence in us. We didn't cover up this meeting. Where for an hour, you got Loretta Lynch and Bill Clinton on a tarmac so nobody sees it. And they're like, was it that local cop? Was it Secret Service? Was it one of our people? Find out who it was and make sure they never work in this town again. And then you got Mueller killing the investigation of Uranium One while he delivers uranium on tarmacs in bags to the FSB. That's the KGB. Same agency, different name. You've got him in 10 companies where you're supposed to put in millions of dollars per company to, to, be, to be an investor, he puts nothing in to the Russian companies. They, they are literally Russian agents. The Democrats have always been paid off by the Russians and the communist Chinese, not the Republicans. Everybody knows that. So what were they going to do? Oh, God, we, Hillary didn't get elected. What are we going to do? Say Trump's a Russian. Read these emails. They are incredible. They're up on Infowars.com where they're talking about we gotta carry this out. Well, I've got we've got we gotta find out who did this. We gotta cover this up. I mean, you've got to read this. And the media spends it like, oh, they're more concerned about leaks than the criminality. No, you read it, they're covering up the criminality. And of course they're desperate to do it. Bill Clinton's under criminal investigation by Comey, and he's having meetings with the Attorney General, the boss of the whole thing. And then right after it, he ends the investigation. And we get the Comey emails where he says, don't worry, Hillary, we've already said you're not going to be indicted. Here's your letter. We're having a fake investigation. I mean, these are crooks, man. I mean, i got to hand it to them. They got balls. I mean, they are so out of control. Trump is so by the book, just so old-fashioned, just executing, executing, delivering wealth, not squirrely side deals and screw jobs. But finally, I want to show you this, what they're really pissed about. This is what they're really pissed about. This is on Infowars.com. RNC chair, we've broken every fundraising record thanks to Trump. But that's not the full video. He goes over all the accomplishments so far with his hands tied. And that's why the Republican Party elite are getting pushed out, the Democrat elites are getting pushed out, the Conyers, all the doddering corrupt people. Because all Trump's doing is removing globalism that's designed to make us poor. I'm going to explain this again. Globalism's meant to make nation states poor and empower the multinational combines to make people poor to control them. That's called feudalism. That's the model in Africa. That's the model in Latin America. That was the model in Asia, Japan, the, uh, Europe. They keep you poor deliberately. Research, feudalism, serfdom. This is neo-feudalistic serfdom, a term I coined 20 years ago, now used in textbooks by them. Just like propaganda placement or behavior placement I coined, now used in textbooks. Look it up. So this is neo-feudalistic fascism. This is neo-feudalistic serfdom. This is a program. Obama telling Africa, you can't have cars or air conditioning. It's so cool to be poor, but I'm going to land in a jumbo jet. They don't want you to have a future. They want controlled markets with renters and slaves. This is the American system coming roaring back. And Trump wants to be the turnaround guy that brought America back. And one year in, I cannot believe how real this is. It's really happening. Without further ado, let's play this powerful video. Again, the audio is a little a little low, but it's on Infowars.com. Here it is. It's last night. We have broken because of him and because of you. We have broken every record in the history of the RNC. Last night, so last night at about three in the morning, I got a call. I said, "Call me. You can call me." 
It's the largest tax increase in the history of our country by far. Woo! And, and by the way, where's Giuseppe? Cipriani, my friend for a long time. Where's Giuseppe? We're going to go back to this in a minute. But do you understand that these middle class tax cuts and these corporate tax cuts, where we have a 40% tax rate, China has a 15, are designed so the money never comes back in. The big banks wrote this to move the stuff offshore, it's admitted. And all this other stuff, they say mainline analysts, 7 to 10% growth rates in one year if they do this. You want to pay off those loans? You want to get, this is what you have to have. China's been having 10% growth rates for 30 years. We haven't had anything past three since the days of Reagan. It's back, 3.3. But Trump's not even that big a magician. He's removing a bowling ball tied to our leg by design. See, that's what I keep telling you. It's so easy to fix things. Kennedy cut taxes bigger than what Trump's doing. He says the biggest in history, that means because we have bigger debt and it's bigger numbers in total, but money's worth less. This is a, not as big as the Kennedy. Kennedy cut it by 50% for the general tax rate. He is simplifying it. It's still in the House and Senate back and forth, but the Senate, that's the hard size of the Senate. Now it goes into conference. This is a big deal. This is a celebration. Are the Republican establishment happy? He's getting them record money? No, 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 no. No, no, they want control just like the Democrats, but we're bulldozing all of them. This is the second American revolution, and it's why the swamp criminals are so desperate putting hoaxes out. Do you understand how evil that is? that Trump, during the campaign, ordered Flynn to meet with the Russians and that he lied. None of that was even true. You read the indictment, it's illegal transcripts they recorded where he didn't get two words right, he told the FBI. That's crazy. Let's go back. That's right. Reform just means a car could run you over, your body's reformed, or you get plastic surgery. It could be raise taxes, lower taxes, change them. This is tax cuts, cuts, cuts. He explains semantics. Everything I've broken down over the years. This is so powerful. Let's continue. They couldn't pass it. They couldn't get the votes. And for years I said, I wonder why they use the word reform. Because nobody knows what reform means. Reform could mean your taxes are going up. And I said to my guys, I called everybody in. We had a meeting, senators, Congress, everybody. I said, we have to use the word tax cuts. Now, if you want to throw reform, you can say tax cuts and reform. But you have to use the word cut. Because people don't know what reform means. Reform could mean your taxes going up. In fact, a lot of people thought that. So for years, 30 years, 31 years, they've been using the word reform. So we use the word tax cuts. And last night, out of 52 Republican senators, 51 voted, and we ended up doing it, and we didn't need our great vice president to break the tie, Mike. We didn't need Mike, we didn't need anything. We voted, the Democrats left before the vote was even, somebody said started, somebody said before it was over, I don't even care. But we got no Democrat help, and I think that's gonna cost them very big in the election, because basically they voted against tax cuts. And I don't think politically it's good to vote against tax cuts. But what we're doing is, if you look at it, we're going to grow the country. We're going to grow jobs. We're going to be growing everything. We have companies now that are pouring back into our country even before this. We just set records in so many different ways. We set records with every conceivable, you know, if you look at it, Consumer confidence at a 17-year high, and I think it's an all-time high. It is the highest ever. Consumer confidence. Uh, business confidence. He is number one on that. High. Consumer confidence, best ever. Everything is like at an all-time high, including the big one. It's called the stock market. That and is the best.
people far greater than my business people. I love my business people. But these are what they call law enforcement people, okay? But we can see... Boss. Hey, boss. And then the cops tell them, man, we love you. Our 401Ks just went up 40%. Which I have family whose 401Ks were going up like 5% maybe the last 20 years. I have family that have 401Ks. Now I wish I had one who've made over 35%. I, I, again, this is a bubble for the people, but it's with exuberance and new technology we can make it out. The globalists have been using bubbles to get full control while we get poor. So this is who they want to remove from office. This is the Russian agent that's got 70% less uh, illegals coming across the border, pulled us out of the TPP, is renegotiating NAFTA and GATT that turned over our sovereignty, is strengthening our military, taking care of our veterans, uh, massive investment in the black communities with new industry, and the media says, kill him, he's a racist, he's the worst guy ever, because they're the criminals that hijacked the country and created a screwed up economy to control people. And they're the ones, if you just tuned in, lying to you, caught red-handed ABC News with that bombshell. And I remember I was reading the ABC News article, I've seen this before. They had the intercepts of Flynn talking when he became the new national security advisor, when president was president-elect, President Trump, and I went, I've seen, I go, and I remember I was on air on, at like 11, because they didn't admit it was fake news for another four hours. And they were going, Alex, are you sure? He was in the office. They go, this, they're saying this is previous. I go, no. These transcripts, they've already admitted these transcripts exist before from the NSA. Then they denied them. This is from late November and December when they were spying on them. And then sure enough, it was fake, because I, I knew the transcript. We'd seen this crap before. I told everybody it was fake. You don't think they wouldn't have used that before if they had it? Man, these people are sick, and they just recycle the same fake news. We'll probably hear in a month again. Flynn admits that Trump told him, hell, 100 years ago to call the Russians, and that you know Russian dolls you know, fall out of the president's ass when he takes a dump. I mean, there's no end to the piss gates a lie. It's all a lie. Because there's finally somebody that doesn't want to mount the country's head on the wall. There's finally somebody who isn't a globalist that hates the republic and wants to use it as an engine for their global takeover. With the damn communist Chinese and the corrupt Pope and all these assholes. Let's finish up with the 401k piece and i got a few more final points. And one great gentleman came up and he said, Sir, I want to thank you. I said, what did I do for you? He said, my 401k is up 40%. It's called, how is your 401k doing? Because I can say this, if the Dems won the election, in my opinion, and I feel strongly about this, the numbers right now, we hit record highs every day. We're, I think we had 66 times now where we've hit a record high since the election. Oh, that's good. Times. Set it down. America can still dominate the future with soft power, with our ingenuity. With, with uh, We are the greatest country in the world. But under globalism, they wanted to teach us to hate ourselves and create civil war and create culture war. And then they're the people in their own documents that want to keep us desperate and weak alone. The Facebook documents, the WikiLeaks, go read it. They call the Democrats useful idiots. They use bots to control them and keep them depressed. I mean, it's crazy. So know this. It's up to you to get this video out about the whole hoax and how this stuff's all made up and how it's a fraud. People need to understand this. Um, the president's lawyers told him don't talk to Flynn in the last six months. Flynn got isolated. They went after his kids, his brother, who's another general, and tried to shut the whole family down. And then Flynn said, okay, technically you can die a ham sandwich for saying you lied to the FBI. He says, I, I didn't lie. They say they've got NSA transcripts where, you know, I, 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 they asked me if I said this to the Russians and I didn't. And, and what was it about? Don't put sanctions on us. And that's what the president's supposed to do. There's no collusion. The president's the American president. He is co-equal to the other branches. In executive actions, he's above the other branches. He's allowed to go meet with the Russians. He's allowed to go sign deals. Then Congress has got to ratify it. He's allowed, if he wants to, to do whatever. You elected him. He represents you. But when you see what they've done in the NSA transcripts, let's pull that CNN article back up. I mean, it's just like, where's the medals for Trump and Flynn? 
That they got the Russians not to put sanctions on us when we put them on them. That they got the Russians to agree to give us intel on ISIS and fight with us. And that he's... Uh, and they just act like it. Did you see what the president did? Yeah, the stock market went up. Blah, blah, blah. People say, oh, the stock market's a bubble. But if you don't have those companies, you don't have jobs. Even if you don't have money in the stock market, I don't. Because I'd be focused on that all the time, being paying attention to that. Instead of just fighting the globalists. So it's like, I'm not against sports. If I start watching sports, I'll obsess on it. Like I started watching years ago, the Red Sox or whatever, the World Series for like a you know, week and a half. That's all I did. I just can't start watching or I get obsessed with it. Same thing with stock market or anything. I want to know how it all works. I get obsessed with it. I don't do that. I do it with news and information. I have a great memory. And I've told you it's all fake. And I told you they spied on them. Then they lied about what was in the intel. Trump pointed out it was lies. So they go, okay, well, we still have the intel, but we didn't spy to get it. You were robbed again. You were lied to again. They told you that Trump had lied, that Flynn had lied, that they'd met with the Russians during the campaign, and that, and that Trump was a criminal. And it was a hoax, and they hope the hoax is 50 times bigger than the retraction, and the retraction is getting almost no coverage. So if there's any soul to the fake leftist who don't have real friends that are basically bot-controlled people that make sniveling comments on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter... You're the chumps, man. I hate the Republican establishment. I hate the Democratic establishment. The whole establishment's against Trump. The guy is a, to quote Robert Duvall in Network, a big titted hit. You know, the show's a hit. It's successful. It's winning. It's exuberance. It's positive. And it's not like he's some dictator being positive over a third world country. He's over the republic with the engines of success that it takes for optimism in the future. And the globalists want you demoralized. They want you controlled. They want you dumbed down. And so it's up to you by hand on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and your email and at work to show people these articles and to say it was fake. It was a lie. This is how dastardly they are. And they'll do it again. They're the fake news. And that's why they attack us. That's why they come after InfoWars. I'll be live tomorrow at 4 to 6 p.m. with the regular Sunday show, radio slash TV, InfoWars.com, forward slash show. Uh, and, of course, the weekday program, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., day to night. The, the real news comes on uh, at uh, 8 a.m. And you got the war room with Owen Schroer and Roger Stone and others. But, look. They have congressional hearings admitting they're censoring InfoWars in live time, saying, InfoWars reported fake news that a Muslim attacked New York with a truck. And they go, Congressman Quigley, that's his name, don't worry, we censored him at lunch, Facebook, Twitter, and Google him. And they're like, I mean, we have the footage of them saying it's fake news that a Muslim attacked New York with a truck. They admitted that was true. And that they censored us in live time. So they're blocking us everywhere, but you've got to hand share it. And if you're listening on local affiliates, TV affiliates, radio, that's where we're really hitting big audiences. Spread the word there. But man, they want to shut down free speech. They got Democrats on TV saying once they remove Trump, they're going to arrest the liberty leadership because we didn't want to sell out the world. There it is. Lawmaker demands Twitter censor InfoWars. And Twitter, Facebook, and Google execs say, Sir, we censored him at lunch. <laughs> I mean, how sensational is that? God, it's like people that followed the Nazis, they just believed they were winners. And even as Germany was falling, they stayed with Hitler. And you folks stand with Pelosi and the Clintons and these crooks and their illegal meetings and they're up to here with the Russians. And then you say in these hearings, I'm a Russian. They say it like it's a fact. Never been to Russia. Don't speak five words of Russian. Remember, I'm the right-wing hyper-patriot, pro-America, but now I'm this Russian agent. Well, the Russians have become Christian. They've pulled away from the globalists. They've got their problems. But the globalists are pissed because they're not under their control, just like they're pissed at Trump. So there is true that there's collusion with Russia spiritually, that we're all worldwide, the UK, Brexit, uh, Catalonia, Brazil, uh, Austria, Italy, the Czech Republic are all pulling out of the EU, all pulling out of globalism. And they even try in Europe to say, people are electing nationalists. Russia's behind it. Yeah. <laughs> Humanity's behind it. We're going to have some TPP, private secret group, that our own governments can't look at the documents, tell Congress and our parliaments and our governments what to do. Bull crap. Bull crap. 
and the WikiLeaks, how they admit they're invoking racism, how they're trying to create class war to control the people and turn us against each other as we wake up and come back to restore the republic. They shut us down and censor us because we're preaching unity and strength. Infowars.com forward slash show. Now please, take this video once it's not live on YouTube, on Facebook, you name it. Copy it to your channels. There's no copyright on my stuff. I want you to get it out. Take clips of it. I don't care. Re-edit it. People always ask, can I put Infowars on my car? Can I, can I use your videos? You better be. We're in a war, bro. Infowars.com forward slash show. Spread that link as well. And I'll see you all tomorrow, 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Mountain, 2 p.m. Pacific. Tell your friends, your neighbors, your family, your community, you name it. Hey, we're fighting the info war. We're fighting fake news, and we're winning. Now, if they're able to shut Trump down and remove people like me, that's authoritarianism, and it'll destroy this recovery. And if America does that, if we put up with this crap, then we deserve it. But you know what? It's not going to happen. I just hope the globalists don't back down because they say they want a civil war. Keith Oberman said, we're about to remove Trump. This is my last broadcast ever. This will cause a civil war. Get ready. And I go, look, civil war. They want civil war. They go, Jones is crazy. No one ever, Antifa's not calling for an uprising. They're just full page ads in the New York Times. They're preying on people that they think are only looking at their news. Trump secretly had a meet with the Russians. He lied. Not true. Alex Jones makes up that they want a civil war. Not true. Alex Jones makes up fluoride causes brain damage. It's mainstream news. Read the vaccine inserts. Study stuff for yourself. Stop buying into these big corporations. They're run by ruthless scum who are willing to do anything. But Trump's coming back with moral optimism. Infowars.com forward slash show. Thank you all. Please get this video out to everybody you know. And thanks, crew, for coming in tonight.